Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today to finally be tackling probably my most requested video, and that is refrigerator organization. You guys have been asking for this for so long. Our current organization system we have in place is basically Ryan's shelf, my shelf, other. And it's worked pretty well because Ryan and I eat completely separate things, so we just keep our stuff separate. But I think it's time we take things to the next level and put some systems in place. I already drew up my diagram, and I think it's gonna turn out really good. So if you guys do enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber. On Sundays, I post organization, DIY, cleaning, or a lifestyle related video. And on Wednesdays now, I do weekly vlogs, so it's a little bit of my family life and baby Carter and a little bit of what I'm doing around the house. So with all that said, let's jump into it. So here's the before of my fridge. As you can see, there's no real organization system going on here and things are a bit of a mess. So the first step is to empty everything out of your fridge. And for this project, you could choose to work one section at a time or do it all at once like I'm doing. But just be warned, doing it this way, you have to move quickly because you don't want your food sitting out for too long. What I did is I drew up a quick diagram so I had a plan in place and could make the process go a little bit faster, but this is totally optional. As you're doing this, it's a good time to toss out any old or expired items, and you might also want to just clean off any products that are leaking or have dripped and are looking kind of rough. As I took things out, I grouped like foods together on the counter, and this also helped to save time. So once everything was all out, the next step is to clean. I used my DIY cleaning solution. This is 50% white vinegar, 50% water, and some essential oils, just to wipe down all the shelves, top and bottom. If you want, you can remove the shelves, but I didn't have time for that, so I just wiped them down. I wiped down the door compartments and the drawers. If you have any caked on food or other unidentified items, you can use a scraper. You might've seen, I just picked this one up from the dollar store to get that right off. And of course, it wouldn't be a fridge without some kind of gross spillage somewhere. So I first soaked this up with a paper towel and then wiped it down. So once everything is cleaned out, now is the fun part, putting everything back together. The strategy here is to subgroup like items together. And these clear acrylic compartments make this whole process much easier and more visually appealing. This particular set of seven acrylic dividers I found on Amazon for I think around $25. So it was a good price and I'll be using these for a very long time. So now we're gonna start from top to bottom. I decided to make the top shelf for beverages. And first here on the left is the space saving water dispenser. I thought this was so cool. It's extremely narrow, so it doesn't take up as much space in your fridge. And we have a built-in water filtration system. So we just fill this up and keep it in the fridge so we have cold water when we need it. Next to that are my milk substitute products. And these do better on the fridge shelves versus on the door because the temperature in the door can fluctuate. Next to that, I have my other beverages, and then far over on the right, I use this narrow clear acrylic container to store my tea and coffee creamers. The next shelf is for pre-cooked foods, so leftovers and then food that I meal prep. The strategy here is to keep these right at eye level so you can see them easily and less likely to forget about them. Ideally, you want to label your leftovers, but if you don't have time to do that, at the very least, it's a good idea just to write down the date that you put it in there so you don't have to rely on the sniff test. Hey babe, what'd you make this chicken? Smells fine, I guess. And the chicken was from three or four weeks ago. I meant to throw it away. Below this is my personal favorite shelf, the snack shelf. This is just gonna make it easy to find and quickly grab a snack by keeping them all in one place. And I took things a step further by putting all of my savory snacks in one container and sweet snacks in the other container. The back of the bottom shelf is actually the coldest part of your refrigerator, so it's the best place to store raw meats. And it's also a good idea to keep your raw meats in a separate container, so that way if they do spill, they're not gonna cross-contaminate your fridge. Next to this, I use this narrow container to store all of Ryan's egg whites. As you can see, he loves his egg whites. And then beside that, I use this egg storage container. So this set actually came with this. It's totally optional, but it does make it easier to visually see how many eggs you have. And it's a good place to store any pre-cooked hard-boiled eggs. The drawer below this I'm using for dairy and cold cuts because those do well in a colder environment and this is the cold drawer. In the drawer below that I have the fruits and vegetables. This drawer is already divided and there's a setting on here to adjust the humidity to help keep the items fresh. The last shelf on the bottom here I use to store my meal kit bags because I usually do have meal kits every week. 
So now over to the door of the fridge. On the top I have the butter, below that are the condiments, and below that are sauces. So I actually was able to subgroup these. Below that are more drinks, and those do well in the door because they're not as sensitive to temperature fluctuations. And as you can see, I did go ahead and label everything. And I like to do this because it helps make things easier for other people in your household who are trying to use the system. Babe, where do I put my leftovers? See the shelf right there that says leftovers? Ah, that makes sense, I guess. So that is my new fridge organization system. I have to say it feels amazing to have an organized refrigerator. I cannot believe it took me this long to do this. I highly recommend you guys do it too. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this week's video. If you did enjoy it and you like my organization videos, then give this a thumbs up. And question for you guys. So I had one container that I wasn't able to use in the refrigerator. It's this guy. What do you guys think I should use this for? So it has these two side compartments and then one in the front. Let me know your ideas in the comments. And with all of that said, thanks so much for watching and I will see you on Wednesday with a new video. Bye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, babe, where am I supposed to put my ranch? I got snacks, I could put it in condiments. You got sauces. I could put it in dairy. Oh, this doesn't work. How am I gonna put it in four places? The whole thing's collapsing like a house of cards. Try again next time, I guess.